Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Glad to have you here. Um, I just wanted to echo um, uh, my uh, good colleague, uh, Representative Pyle, earlier. Um, I look at the four schools that you represent, and I actually firmly believe that you're the anchor of many great colleges and universities throughout this Commonwealth. And I will say that, like him, on both occasions, I supported the 5% increases for your schools and the 7% increase for yours. And I think it's unfortunate that we were unable to get two thirds of our legislative body in the House to support that. And I'm, I unabashedly say that I think it was deserved and I'm hoping we can get to that point. I just want to share that with you. I, uh, full disclosure, I'm a Nittany Lion. This uh, question is going to be directed towards Penn State. Um, in addition to the funding through the Department of Education, Penn State receives agriculture research and extension funding through the Department of Agriculture. However, this year the governor vetoed all this funding from the 2015-16 budget. And I know there's a lot of crazy things going on during this budget season. Agriculture is the number one industry in the Commonwealth and it's the number one industry in most counties. So that one has me a little bit confused and baffled also. But in light of that, we'll have to work through this crisis. How has Penn State been funding those programs during the 15-16 year? And what impact has that had on other programs at the university? And I have other two quick follow-ups then after that. Um, th thank you for that question. Um, we have been um, keeping the extension programs um, running uh, through the fiscal year um, on the um, hope that the appropriation will be forthcoming. Um, it has been difficult uh, to do that. Uh, we have leveraged in advance um, federal match, again, in anticipation of um, funding coming from the, the, the Commonwealth. Um, we have just managed to do that by, by pulling resources from, from various places, knowing that those um, uh, re resources can be replenished. Uh, our assumption was when the appropriation uh, came. Um, we, we are getting down to um, a critical point now, uh, planning for the, for the future. This is not something that is sustainable. It is certainly not sustainable into the next fiscal year. And so um, we have to begin thinking about um, the prospect of um, uh, winding down our extension uh, op operation, which is uh, ve very challenging and very impactful. Yeah, I, I do want to follow up. Um I make a good point, and that's what I was going to ask. How long can we continue? Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Penn State's also sent information out warning people that there could be potential layoffs in the extension program. If I'm not mistaken, and I mean, are we talking one month, two months? Are we? Is it? Is it that? It's. It's probably sooner than later. Is is my fear? Yes, it's almost uh, uh, impossible for us to contemplate considering the programs into the next fiscal year, um, which gives us really a um, a June 30th uh, deadline. But but in order to have an orderly wind down of a program that's basically existed for 150 years um, and potentially impacts um, of order 1,100 employees, um, we need to begin formally that process um, 60 days in, in advance and the planning for it now. And maybe this is a, um, maybe it's a difficult to speculate because I know how much Penn State does for agriculture here in the Commonwealth, but what would be the impact statewide if let's say the funding does stop and let's say you have to do those layoffs? What's going to be the repercussions statewide? Who's that, how, what's that going to affect? Is that going to affect our farmers directly? What are some of the results that could occur should, should that funding you know, cease? Um, after a 150-year partnership, I think uh, the end of that would, be, um, would have a profound impact on the agricultural uh, community. But 
of course, um, we are all beneficiaries of the fruits of the agricultural industry, and so I think the repercussions will be felt well, well beyond um, that sector itself. Once, as I said to open, we're, agriculture is the number one industry in the state. It is for many counties. It definitely is in Lancaster County, even though we're a large, largely populated county, too. And I'm hoping this can come to a resolution. And um, I appreciate you taking the time. I'm sorry Dr. Barron couldn't uh, be here today, but it's great to have you. And other gentlemen, thank you. And thanks, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. We hope so, too, that it's resolved. Thank you, Representative.